You know, the question I have is, if all fails, if the Clippers don't win the championship, what's next for Kawhi and PG? Or should I say, what's next for the Clippers? Like, what direction will they go? Because we all know after this season, both players can walk. Both of them have a player option on their contract when they signed the max deal about a few years ago, where they have the second year option of their contract where they can walk and listen to other teams and take upon other options in regards to a trade or maybe going to another team or another roster. So where does that lead the Clippers if they don't? don't win a championship well i'm gonna say this the clippers have a great chance of winning because Kawhi and pg is there they have a great chance of winning because ty Lu has won a championship as a head coach and he has the experience he has the know-how along with Kawhi leonard he's won multiple championships more than anybody else on the team that i believe and they do have you know norman powell and um, a few others who definitely play well who's and you know one he's won a championship himself so i mean they do have the pieces. They do have the, the, the personnel. They do have all that, but they don't have the health on their side. And, you know, honestly, this is one of the situations where I a team that's been so anticipated to win injuries has hit them so bad. It just seems like, man, it just seems like it's hard for them to get to the top of the mountain. And that's just the way it is for the Clippers. And it's always been that way, even with Chris Paul, even with Blake Griffin, even with Lamar Odom back in the day and Darius Miles way back in the day. You know what I'm saying? There's always been injuries. Elton Brand, you know, you can just go through the list. I mean, they've always had star caliber or star type players, but the results never ended in championships or deep runs in the playoffs because of injuries and just the burden of trying to win a championship for an organization that's never won for the first time is just very, very tough. Getting that one out the way, you know, is uh, is going to be the toughest one. I feel like if the Clippers win one championship, they might find a way to win two or three more or multiple throughout the years. It's just getting past that just getting that one championship is just the hardest seemed like for this organization but either way i don't know what the clippers would do if Kawhi and pg do decide to walk because you don't have no other options you mortgage your whole future for Kawhi and pg and now that you did that your picks are short you don't have many picks i think the pick that they do have future wise is like 2027 or something like that i mean it's 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 really a downslide you know for the clippers and now they're opening up this new dome arena into it this year I believe. And, you know, if they don't put a banner in there and if Kawhi and PG walk, I mean, Steve Ballmer wasted a lot of money for several years and no results. And it's just going to, you know, piss him off. But at the same time, you know, he won't be the only only owner of the Clippers that'd be pissed off if they don't win because the prior owner and other owners maybe before him were in the same boat because they never won a championship as an organization. So with that being said, it's a lot that goes into this. It's a lot that has to be, you know, said for this team and I, I really hate the fact for the Clippers especially with Russell Westbrook being on there you know I like to see you know all them you know get a championship because I know how hard it is and I know how tough it is to go through the grind in the season and then the seven game series and the playoffs and try to get all the way to the finals and possibly win it it's tough it's not easy you know what I'm saying it's 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 a mountaintop and I definitely get it but you know I like to see Russ get his first championship along with uh, Paul George you know what I'm saying because they never won one Kawhi's won two I definitely want to see my guy Kawhi get a third one, add to his legacy even more to his Hall of Fame career. But, you know, it's it's going to be a grind for the Clippers, but it's also expected. And, you know, honestly, I don't know what the Clippers will do if Kawhi and PG walk next year. They better hope that at least they keep one of them on the roster and move forward because if they don't, I mean, the, the team will be in shambles and they'll be the team that they were years ago, which was the laughing stock of the NBA because they won't have any superstars to make up for, you know, all the money that's spent and time put into that team. And, you know, when you think about it, who else can they recruit to the Clippers that want to come, especially if Kawhi and PG is gone? It would be hard to recruit anybody there. See, now Russell Westbrook, you heard James Harden wanted to come and maybe a couple other players, whoever knows, but uh, Damian Lillard was off board with it I think because he has issues with PG this is the reason why I think Damian Lillard didn't want to come to the Clippers if it, was, if it was just Kawhi on there I think Damian Lillard will come to the Clippers because I know Damian Lillard he doesn't have no issues with Kawhi really nobody does because Kawhi doesn't speak to nobody so I mean if Kawhi was there himself I, I almost can guarantee you you would see Damian Lillard on the Clippers probably by now if Kawhi was on there by himself it's just something with PG I think him and PG don't get along I've heard that through uh, several sources I've heard it through 
through media sources. I've read it in some articles, you know, just th- throwing some blatant stuff out there. So, I mean, uh, it's, it could be that. It could be other things. Who knows? But for the most part, Dame Lillard, I don't think he's coming to L.A. or at least not that L.A. team. So, Either way, you know, the Clippers, um, it's not many options, man. You know what I'm saying? It really isn't. And, you know, if, if they, you know, let's say hypothetically they land somebody like Damian Lillard, Damian Lillard next year and Kawhi and PG walk. I mean, Damian Lillard would still be in the situation that he's in now. He would have a lot of good pieces around him or decent pieces around him, but it wouldn't, they wouldn't probably go far because they don't have, you know, um, multiple superstar uh power star players you know they they will only have him but regardless i don't even think that's going to happen but um for the clippers say they got to hope they keep at least one of the superstars both will be better of course but at least keep one and then you got to think about ty lu as well you know a lot of people want to see ty lu go um that's good but at the same time you have to find a coach comparable or better than what he is and if you think about it there really isn't any out there that's really um comparable to him or you know based See, you know, a coach who's won a championship, who has championship mentality, knows what it takes, been there as a player who's won a championship. There's not many coaches out there that had that type of resume, even though whether you like Ty Lue or not, not many coaches had that resume. It's just the way it is. So um, it's going to be a, a, you know, a, a crazy uh, situation with the Clippers after next season. You, everybody's got to hope, you know, on Clippers side that they win the championship, at least this way of Kawhi and PG do walk. You got a championship out of the era of the Kawhi and PG and it wasn't a bust like all the other eras but either way you know i've seen situations where teams win championships and guys walk and go to other teams so i mean it could be a situation like that too but your chances are better if you win a championship by keeping them but um, we'll just have to see how it goes but um this is going to be a very interesting off season the next season after this one whether they win the championship or not just to see who stays and goes and to see how relevant the team stays and how much together they stay or how much they break apart But either way, leave any comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think, and we'll talk about it. 